Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hot Chemistry and today we'll continue our study into electrochemical cells like I said in the previous episode that we're going to be looking at the electrochemical cells that we have and today we're going to be discussing the Daniel cell. The Daniel cell. Okay, so the Daniel cell is a very, very wonderful example of an electrochemical word cell that converts, of course, chemical energy to what? To electrical energy. It's, a, it's an electrochemical cell. So it converts what? Chemical energy to what? To electrical what? Energy. Okay, so now let us go to the Otero School Jump app and see a question. This is a 2007 question number 48. Okay, so like I said, the Otero School Jump app is all you need for short success in your exam. It has wonderful features, a classroom feature with lecture notes to guide you while you're trying to answer questions. You read and then you answer questions. One, then question search feature, you can search for questions under any topic and then be able to what, to understand how jump set question under that topic. Wonderful. Then three, the UTME challenge, that will conduct for all students that are participating in jump for this particular year. Okay, you compete, you win amazing prizes every week, till one week to the main jump exam. Okay, so before even before jump does this mock, you have part partaking in up to like 10 mocks already so you are you are not scared again you are confident of course of smashing your mock exam okay so wonderful feature so please download the otis school jump up right now right now so i'm speaking then activate it do not waste your time the joy you can have the best joy you can have as a student is passing your exam at once you don't want to write jump twice please you don't want to use it so any resource that will be useful that will be helpful to your success in, in, in any exam get it so you pass your exam once and for all pin your bomb in one place and study okay so after downloading the app which has been displayed on your screen right now go to play store download the app after downloading the app you need to activate activation is just three thousand error as at the time of shooting this video it will definitely increase okay so that's why i don't want to override jam another year okay pass your jam once okay it will definitely what increase so what you simply do click on activate after downloading the app at the top you see where the road buy activation key click on it you see three options for payment then you can well, choose any of the option that is suitable for you it is not scam it's very very well legit so please download the app activate it you can either what transfer to the o3 schools app account or of course you can simply what use your atm card to activate the app online okay the activating the app will be automatic if you're using what the online payment method okay or you can what use google play google pay if you have made a purchase from what from google before now so that is all for that please get the app activated and after you have sent uh, you have made your payment to the app what you simply do is to what send your receipt to 091-2151 five two four six that's all you need to do just send it is forward it is you don't need to call that number but you can call in case you need to be sure okay but just what's forward the payment receipt to this what number you can also use pos someone can help pay anybody can pay for you okay so you do not doesn't mean that what must be your account if you don't have an account someone can pay for you all right so this is what the process that you use in activating your app get the app and join us in this class okay so now the question from 2007 like i said 2007 number 48 2007 number 48 it says it's been displayed on your screen right now he said a reaction that takes place in a daniel cell is you will never know if you have not what attended with this class okay so they say a neutralization b double decomposition c direct combination d redox okay so at the end of this discussion of daniel cell will come back to this question and answer some other questions on what on daniel cell okay to show you that what this question this question they come out what in jam it is not what a child play. okay now let's look at the daniel cell quickly so the daniel cell was invented by a man called john frederick daniel by john frederick daniel in the year 1836 so john fred daniel designed the what the daniel cell in this year 18 what 36 and i said the daniel cell is a perfect example of an electrochemical cell because it converts chemical energy into what electrical what energy so now the daniel cell is made up this daniel cell is made up of a copper vessel of a copper vessel copper vessel filled with saturated solution filled 
with saturated solution solution of copper two tetra ozosulfate what six okay so the daniel cell is made up of a copper vessel filled with saturated solution of what copper two tetra of a six okay and also it is also what made of another porous spot so this is one of what of what of one thing is made of one and then another porous spot and another porous spot another porous spot okay containing what a zinc vessel so this is a copper vessel it also contains what a zinc vessel immersed immersed in a saturated solution of zinc tetra ozosulfate six okay so the dna cell is made up of a copper vessel filled with saturated solution of what copper two tetra ozosulfate six and another porous spot containing what is zinc vessel and mass in what in zinc tetra ozosulfate six so now what happens is that we make the copper vessel in the dna cell we make the copper vessel the cathode copper vessel we make it what the cathode Okay, this is where reduction takes place, where reduction what takes place, and then we now make the zinc, the zinc vessel, the anode. Okay, you must take note of what of this. This is very, very important. In the Daniel cell, it, it redox reaction happens in the Daniel cell. So will, I've answered the, word, the question I showed you in the beginning. So it's a redox reaction, a, a, an oxidation and reduction reaction that happens in the what in the Daniel cell. The type of reaction that occurs in the Daniel cell. So the reduction happens what at the cathode, right? In the copper vessel, the reduction of happens what at the cathode. Why the oxidation takes place what at the what at the anode? So this is what oxidation, and of course you already know that what that oxidation what occurs at the anode. It's a typical exam questions. Okay, so this is what happens what in the what in the Daniel cell. So I'll go over that again. I'll recap, and I said that the Daniel cell, Daniel cell was designed by John Frederick Daniel in the year 1836, and it's made up of a copper vessel filled with saturated solution of CuSO4. And another porous spot containing zinc vessel immersed in a concentrated, sorry, in a saturated solution rather of what of zinc tetra of a six. Okay, we make what the copper vessel, the cathode, where the reduction takes place, and then we make the zinc vessel the what the anode where oxidation what takes place. So this is what happens what in a Daniel cell. So let me just quickly show you. Okay, a diagram. Okay, that will depict so that we we'll see the reaction that happens what in the Daniel Watt cell to drive what this point home. Okay, so now in the Daniel cell, remember it's, it's, it's an electrochemical cell. So, okay, so we're going to have what uh, something like this. Let's say this is what the copper, uh, the copper vessel. Sorry, the zinc vessel because the anode is what the anode. This is the anode the anode why this is what the the cathode this side is the cathode so you now have what this is the daniel cell so we have what two ports like this two vessels this one contains what the zinc the zinc rod or the zinc vessel in what znso4 okay let's say it is in mass it's a mass in what in zinc tetras of a six they will now have what the copper vessel okay the copper vessel okay in mass in what cu so far, okay. Let's say this is Cu so far solution where the copper vessel was what was put into. Okay, so now we already seen this. Okay, so now we already know that what well, there will be a salt bridge connected what between the two what ions. Okay, so we connect a salt bridge. Okay, a salt bridge goes into here. This is salt bridge where the ions travel from one solution to the other. Salt bridge. Okay, this is salt bridge. Let's say the salt bridge is what is KCL. Okay, like I said, to make a simple what salt bridge, just what take a filter paper and soak it in what in sodium chloride or potassium or chloride. We can also use potassium nitrate, like I said earlier in the previous episode. Okay, so then of course we now have what a voltmeter connected. Okay, so you have a voltmeter like this. Okay, connected this way. Okay, this is what negative. This is what positive okay so it's as simple as a b c so this is what our solution this is zinc and then this is what is copper okay so this is what we have okay so this is simple what daniel cell okay made up of what of a copper vessel and what and the zinc what vessel 
in mass in what in cu uh, in zns04 and what and cus04 respectively okay so now this is what happens in what in a dynamic cell so i want to have what zn znso4 then this is salt bridge this symbol this question came out in a past question so do not joke with it this symbol here is salt bridge this double slash is salt bridge so you have cu so far then how what cu okay so uh this is what uh the uh the daniel what cell the daniel cell okay so this is what it represents okay now we are going to see the reaction that happens what in this what in this daniel cell in this simple daniel cell we just drew on the board so of course we already know that what that oxidation happens at the anode here oxidation occurs here yeah reduction occurs reduction of course and the cathode okay so simply we can now watch right at our what our reactions so in the zn in the what zn zn so4 half cell half cell we have what oxidation occurring so as this oxidation what is what is occurring here i want to have what now zn giving us what zn two plus then plus what plus two electrons okay because what oxidation is happening at the zinc what at the zinc what uh cathode okay at the zinc what electrode rather that's the anode then of course in in this aeon aeon cu slash cu so4 okay half cell you know this is an half cell this is an half cell all right so now what happens here is what is reduction so i'm going to have cu2 plus okay plus two electron okay it give you one cu all right so what to now do because we have brought out the two what reactions the reduction and the oxidation what reaction in these two cells what to now do is to what to find the what the net what the net what reaction so the net cell reaction the net cell reaction now we add remember when we did oxidation and reduction if you have not joined us go and watch the video please go and watch the video everything is available on this channel okay so in the next cell reaction now i'm going to what add what the two half what equations okay so i'm going to have zn zn plus cu2 plus okay this constitutes a reversible reaction to give you what now uh got these two two electrons here will cancel with these two electrons here okay zn plus cu2 plus now give you zn two plus plus what plus cu so this is a typical reaction that occurs in the dynamic cell take if you don't know anything in this class please this one commit it to what to your memory also okay this is a typical reaction that happens in the world in the daniel cell so this is a daniel cell example okay the anode was the reaction takes place and the cathode where reduction what takes place okay you can see what the two what a yawns yeah Daniel was was space, was beautifully crafted by that John Freddy Daniel. Okay, separating what the ions, the zinc ion and the copper ions from what from each other. Okay, which prevents what polarization by that is what preventing what electricity flow. Okay, it prevents what polarization. That's why using what this word, this sort, this wonderful word salt bridge. Okay, to to, to connect what the two ions were together to separate them, separated them. And then it connected them. Okay, so this is one beautiful what example of a Daniel cell. So this is what happens in a Daniel cell. I'm not going to go over this again. I'm very sure that you understand very clearly in clear terms what a Daniel cell what does. Okay, so now we're going to now go to the app again. Please, you have not downloaded the app. Like I said, it is very important that you do. Okay, let's see. So now we can answer that question. They say the reaction that takes place in 2007, question number 48, a reaction that takes place in a Daniel cell is obviously what a redox reaction okay it's an oxidation and reduction reaction as you have seen oxidation occurring where the anode here and a reduction occurring what are the cathode okay so this is simple all right so uh uh do very well do very well uh to what to what to download the app there are so many questions on the app that what you can what you can uh use to enlighten yourself and to understand where and how jam sets what that question okay so please in the next episode we are going to be seeing another what electrochemical cell see you in that next episode